Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. Uh, we've got another product uh, unboxing. Uh, so, you know how, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm on the internet, it's hard for me to tell what size I'm buying. This is a huge box. Um, this is a Simrad NSS 12 Evo 3S with a Halo 20 Plus uh, radar bundle. So you actually, when you buy this box, you're actually getting two things. You're getting the radar and you're getting the display. Obviously, you're also getting the cable between the radar and the display. So this is a bundle. They come in really 9-inch, 12-inch, 16-inch, which is really cool. Now, the 16-inch display does not come with a bundle. So you can only get the bundle on the 9 and the 12. So it's worth noting. Uh, they do make a 16 version and you'd have to buy the radar and the display separately. The cool thing about this, and we'll open it up, is that it also gives you the ability of actually interfacing with the unit both via touch and button. So that's worth considering. Built-in GPS into the display, which is going to be nice. Uh, it's obviously got sonar uh, support and also wireless connectivity. All right. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, I want to make a little bit of space because I want to start talking about more of the features when we actually have the product in our hand. Again, this is the first time I'm opening this radar and display combo. So we're going to be doing this together. All right, so I'm going to get out of the shot and we're going to be moving this box right here. This is big, so we're going to try to do this as best as we can. Okay, all right, here we go. What's inside this box? Okay, well, good news is lots of packaging. So we're gonna grab some of the packaging. You can see that, and it makes sense, the screen is on top because the screen is smaller than the radar. So when you're gonna be opening this bundle, you're actually gonna have the screen on top. I'm gonna move this off from the table and I'm gonna bring into the shot just the screen itself. This is heavy, by the way. <laughs> You're buying a lot of stuff. All right. Okay. Let's start with the screen. Simrad is a company uh, that is owned by a bigger company called Navico, and Navico does a bunch of great product lines. They've got Simrad, B&G, and Lawrence. And so right now we're looking at the Simrad NSS Evo 3S display. So even before I open the box, which is kind of neat, I do like it when they give this a little bit, you can actually see different sort of information from the box, right? So if you're at a store and you're not sure what you're getting, they're actually making use of the packaging uh, in a way for you to actually see a little bit better understand what you're getting, which I kind of like. It's got obviously a one kilowatt uh, built-in channel chirp. A wireless is built in as well. They talk about that it's radar compatible, of course, two year warranty, 12 inch display. Um, it's pretty awesome. And, uh, all right, let's open this up. By the way, boats are awesome, honestly. There you go. All right, so what we've got here, you can see right away it's documentation, which is not a bad idea because if you're going to do anything on your boat, educate first. So you've got all these different sort of uh, information and they're trying to get your intention before you get too caught away and start trying to install it. They even give you a little sticker. Um, they're giving you a little addendum. Uh, this is neat and worth remembering. Um, look at this, a cutout template. So if you're gonna actually try to mount this on a dash, you're gonna wanna actually cut this out. Um, and uh, print one to one, meaning that this is actually really actually what the cutout out. So you can actually start cutting that out with a pair of scissors, mounting it, drilling the holes, and do everything so that everything is going to just be perfect. I remember I tell this all the time to my techs. Uh, on a boat, you measure I don't countless times, and then drill once. Uh, it's there's nothing more heartbreaking than actually making a hole that's too big. 
Uh, it's hard to fix. I've been there, done it. It's not good. So you want to do it as much as possible, get ahead of the curve and have it go well. All right, next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this box. Again, you've got these little sort of things that go at the top edge of the screen. It sort of makes it look more polished. These are gonna actually clip in, okay? These are gonna clip in. Interestingly, uh, Simrad uh, chooses to actually include uh, their instructions. Some manufacturers don't do that anymore, like Garmin actually doesn't. It's on the display or you can download it from YouTube, uh, not YouTube on their, uh, I mean, um, on their website. This is actually a full manual, which is handy because sometimes you don't have internet when our, we're on our boats, right? Some places have no internet. So if you want to read the manual, this is a good way to do that. The other thing too is, again, we have these gaskets. I talk about the importance of a gasket. The gasket goes in between the display and when you're flush mounting that display so that neither dust nor water can actually, you're trying to prevent all those sort of outside elements to go behind the screen, okay? All right. Next, we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this tray and I like documentation first. It's pretty, it's a good way to remind us of what we need to do. So I'm gonna take this off. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at this screen right here. So this is actually the screen itself. And I'm going very gently, but it is heavy by the way, because it's a computer. It's a computer. It's not just a screen. It's not just a display. All right, look at this. Looks good. Looks really good. Looks really good. And then look at the back. Oh my God. <laughs> that doesn't scare you. Look at all those ports. That is called connectivity right there. How many ports is that? That's just crazy. It's unbelievable. Um, so I'm gonna just turn it like this so that you can see it from above uh, this way. So you can actually see all the different ports. Uh, you can have a sonar part here, another sonar part on this side, power, NME 2000, video, HDMI, ethernet and ethernet. So this is for networking, uh, output to TV, also video, NME 2000 is pretty common protocol now powering the display, and then two transducer ports. The other thing too that's worth noting is actually the GPS. They're putting the label up at the top, making it easy. So if you're gonna actually be mounting that into a dash, you need to make sure it's not an aluminum dash, otherwise the GPS signal won't be able to go through. That's really important. And then I also like the fact that the screen is um, installed really well uh, onto this display here. I'm always nervous always nervous about taking these off. Um, I'm gonna do that slowly and I'm gonna put it off to the side and then we're gonna do that. Next, and you can see the tabs are pretty handy. I'm taking the tabs out. And what we're gonna find inside is actually a trunnion bracket or a U bracket. I'll take the box away slowly. And you can actually see that there's a uh, trunnion. Now this is more than just, let's have a look what's inside here. There you go. We'll do this, it's like a puzzle. You know, slowly but surely we're gonna get inside. There you go, there you go. Look at that, smart, I like it. So, what are all these gizmos? These are the uh, the little bolts that you actually, the turning knobs that you put on either side of the display, right? That's that. Uh, this is the power adapter right here. That goes into one of their ports. Um, and you've got a fuse holder, a mounting screws for the trunnion bracket. And of course, as well, I'm gonna try to do this as, as nicely as I can you're even gonna have this pretty heavy duty trunnion bracket. Remember, this is a computer. So you're holding a computer in a marine environment. You know, you're expecting sometimes to be knocked around. You know, the ocean and the seas are not always calm. So this is a pretty beefy uh, trunnion bracket. I really like that. All right. And uh, there's nothing else on that box. Okay. So uh, notice actually even this little back, right? 
for going in the back of this screen. That's all she kind of need as well. Smart, actually. I really like that. That's another really good idea. Okay, good. So we've got the display. We've talked about the ports. Um, now, what I did say at the beginning, and I'm going to take the radar out of the box as well, because I want to show you the radar that comes with this Simrad. It's another big box. That's normal. You know, you're spending a lot of money. Here we go. What is this? This is the Simrad Halo 20 plus radar. Um, this is what's called a ray dome. Uh, means the open or the array that's within the radar is actually enclosed. And this is what you're going to get inside. This is a pulse compression radar. Uh, Navico basically invented broadband radar. All the other players over time have, have been adapting and coming up with that. Here's the radar cable that comes with it right here. You can see it's got a really nice Marinite plug. You've got the manual and even the warranty information is here on the side. So that's all good. All right. Let me take that other cardboard box. Again, a really well packed radar. You know, I have to say, you know, we're spending a lot of money, all of us, to actually be buying this. So, there you go. This is going to be the radar that's going to be installed. You know, on some of us, it's going to be installed on the mast for a sailboat, on the radar pole at the back for another sailboat, or it might be installed on a radar arch if you're a powerboat, or right onto uh, your cabin top, right? There's different places where these radars go. And this is, again, you can buy this radar from um, Simrad and or as well, Lawrence, and as well through B&G. Nice looking radar, very clean lines, looks sort of well polished. I like the look of the fiberglass. And again, notice the lack of connections, right? Just one connection. How nice is that? You don't even have to open the box. It's underneath. So you should never have water underneath the radar, which is kind of cool. I think that's really well done. You got a nice sort of uh, the mounting feet right here, which is cool. And then notice that's the little connection port that I was talking about. That's how you would actually run the cable. So that's pretty neat. It's actually not as heavy as the old ones. They actually, the old ones used to be a lot harder. I remember <laughs> going up the ladder or even up a bosun's chair, up a mast. And it was a real challenge to actually put those in. They're actually getting lighter, which is good. And it actually means that, especially if you're having a sailboat, the higher they are, uh, the lighter they are is better, obviously, for the motion of the boat, right? You don't want to have this heavy weight at the top of the mast, or not the saw, but halfway up the mast, making your boat go sideways. So this is the Halo 20 Plus and the NSS. And we have here the 12 inch. Uh, screen with a screen protector on top. So pretty cool little bundle. Uh, Simran makes a great product line. And again, this is hybrid, right? They allow you to do both. Um, I want to show you this. So what I like of what you can actually interface the whole device, either through touch or actually right here on the side. Really smart. Some people don't want touch. Some people don't want buttons. They want both. This Simran actually gives you both. Anyways, if further questions, put them down below on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, enjoy the boating season. Take care.